So t tell us where we're walking today. We're not walking anywhere, we're just sitting down, having a snooze yeah, in the relaxing, sun, having a rest. One walk, well maybe for a while. The same there is no such thing as a short walk with, with Gaffor, this is always long walks. We like <laughs> one mile walks only. So your reaction to the day, Louisa? Uh, looking forward to it. I wish I could be more of a mountain girl. <laughs> So you're resting again? Yep, yep. Waiting for the ladies to catch up. Otherwise, they'll have legitimate reasons to turn back. You're leading this walk, what do you think? Is it good so far? Yes, this is just a walk in the park and I'm sure we can do this within about nine hours. So. What? No, no. we think it's rubbish so far. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. No, the scenery is beautiful. No, but the hill was rubbish. It's a bit steep. So I, I don't know which way we're going at the moment because Alison wants to go to the right, Jacobus wants to go to the left. If we can find which direction has got cows in it, yes. that will be the way to go. We'll catch up with you again shortly. You may notice now that um, Jacobus and I are on our own. There's a very simple reason for this. Alison complained about going uphill. We now want to go down a hill, along a valley, and back to the car, up another gentle hill, would you say? You yeah, it is really just a very, very uh, gentle uphill and, uh, and back to the car, yeah. And so, very graciously, the ladies, because we're enjoying a family day out together, have turned off to the right over here, where there is absolutely no footpath whatsoever, with Alison having no sense of direction, so I wish they find the car without any, without getting lost. Uh, and actually with the map being on this phone that's making this recording. But we'll catch up with you later and give you a full report. So we've come down into Widdicombe in the moor. We've resisted all the food outlets there. Just walk straight on because we don't want our lovely wives to miss us for too long. And we're walking along the path now and you can see the views are wonderful. They're missing a lot on there. Absolutely, they're going to regret not doing this. Yeah. And it's all flat and gentle just along the road. Um, but at some stage we turn left and it may get a little bit steep, but don't tell anybody. Right. Yeah. So we've come out of Widdicombe and uh, of course we appear to be heading uphill now. This is Alison's favourite, favourite hill where she has many a time cursed this, this wall. But you're telling me that um, we're, we're now complaint free. Absolutely, we haven't heard any moaning for at least the last half an hour. So we're looking at a beautiful farm. 
looks like it's been restored very good condition and um, good condition is the important thing at the moment Jacobus isn't it because yeah I'm, I don't feel I'm in such good condition so I need a five minute break before I attend this uphill uh, because it is now uphill it doesn't look steep on the video but it is uphill all the way up until we turn left onto the moor and then, and then is a real real <laughs> uphill all the way to 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 the top before we descend down to Grimsbarn. Okay, so we've actually done about two hours, fifteen minutes of walking. Yeah, yeah. To get yeah. back, it's going to be at least another. I would say probably another hour and a half. Yeah, easily. At which time our lovely wives will have had a good conversation. Yeah, enjoy their, their female company. Yeah. And so, time to move. So we've made it up the hill. We are a bit out of breath, but uh, that's the road done with. We're now going behind me here. You can see a footpath and we are heading up to the top. It does look that steep, but it is uh, quite, a, quite a climb. Jacobus has done this before. Many times. Many times. Yeah. Why have you chosen to do it today, Jacobus? Why do you want to make me do quite so much exercise? Because I was hoping that I could convince Alison to Alison and Louisa to join us, but unfortunately, it uh, didn't succeed. But we together. Well, yeah. We'll we will do it, it, and we will. We will conquer. We will make it. We will turn up at the car looking very happy, very satisfied, very smug. Yeah, this is, this is the site of uh, the Second World War crash and the, these guys were flying in at night from France and they came across the channel from uh, Brixham basically, that's where they, they flew over and then uh, Path that would have taken them over Dartmoor, and when they got to when they approached Dartmoor, there was a lot of thick fog, and uh, for some reason the instrumentation wasn't really accurate, and they crashed into this this particular spot here. Well, actually, this guy that was that doing the research said that the impact was about a few hundred meters that way few hundred meters that way but this is basically the place where they found the bodies and that's why they've erected this this stone here so we're now back on the way we were coming we're in the middle of an Iron Age village in the middle of Dartmoor. But we've done the climb, Jay. We've we've done the climb. We're now, it's all downhill to the car. It is now in the home run. So we are very close to the car. I'm looking forward to a wonderful dinner this evening. I must say I'm feeling a bit peckish at the moment. We, we could probably eat a smack roll of something. If we'd had the foresight, we could have had a picnic. Yes. So we've come down off the hillside, we're on the road, just a few hundred meters to go to Jacobus, we'll be back at the car. Yeah, and I must admit myself, I'll be pleased when it's done, and it's over. But we've enjoyed it. We have. The scenery, the sky, good company, even missing the complaining just very slightly. <laughs> Absolutely. So we've made it. We have made it. Ah oh, look, they've so been missing us. Now some closing comments. Have you have you had a lovely time together? We have. We've had bonding women time. It's been good. I was quite happy to just to have this 
for a walk, Matt. Yeah, we had enough of a walk. We had a good walk. Thank you. Okay. And Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, we had the biscuits. Um, we feel very happy. Yeah. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. My feet are just a little bit sore. Yeah, I was gonna but, say. But it's been it's been very nice. The views, the scenery, the alpacas, the company, and um, we climbed the hill without anybody complaining. The final word, as always, on a joint Holbert and Haynes video goes to one person and she's right here. Yes, I'm very glad I wasn't there. I've had a wonderful walk. Thank you very much. Over and over. <laughs> took another picture then. <laughs> video! Uh, to tell you, oh, it's it's, doing it, is, a video. it is recording I video. I don't believe it. It's it recording is. a video. Oh, what a I didn't know I could do that. It is an amazing, intuitive Yay. phone. I am so impressed. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yay. We love you all. We just wanted you to know it. And this is an incredible phone that's just taken the instruction for us to do a video. So, oh, listen, is. Again, all gang ho about and getting a Sam Samsung. No, she's not. She'll have an <laughs> iPhone, but she's still impressed with it. Yeah. And just hi to everyone. Yeah. It's good to see you. Yeah, we, we love you. We, yeah. as in your Corbus and I, yep. just completed a 13 and a half kilometer walk. We just did a 10 kilometer walk. Yeah. They just completed half of a 10 kilometer walk. <laughs> No, I'm not like that. Oh. And we've got to go. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. Stop. <laughs>